Hi everyone, Contact here, and today we're going to be taking a look at an Elizabeth Silver Thruppence. Now Elizabeth I reigned from 1558 until 1603, and during her reign she had over seven different coin issues as they were, with each one varying in uh, design and finesse in terms of silver. So this coin is obviously silver, and it's sterling silver, so 92.5% fine. Obviously it's very old, and as you can see there's some wear on the coin, particularly on the obverse. And on the reverse side, the date is normally situated on this side. As you can see, 1 5 for 1500s. Well, we could, we, we could guess that. Unfortunately, the next two date letters have been rubbed away, as you'll see. However, we can date this coin more precisely. Because we know that this coin is either the third or fourth issue, we can date it to a specific period. But then, even more than that, if you look at the top, in the, fir in the top, quadrant as it were here you should be able to see a mint mark now it might look just like a letter to you I don't know if the camera is focusing on it um, but it's actually a drawing or like a stick man drawing of an ermine uh, which is in other words a stoat the the animal and that particular mint mark was only used in the years 1572 and 1573 so we can actually date this coin to within a year which is pretty accurate considering how old the coin is on the obverse side, you've got a fairly standard inscription, and again, the ermine, you might be able to see it better here. So the ermine's just there, just before the E, the um, diagram, as it were, before the letter E. So the ermine, the mint mark, tells you when it was minted. And then obviously the inscription around the head reads Elizabeth, DG for De Gratia, by the grace of God, ANG for England, FL for France, ET is AND in Latin, uh, H Y for Ireland and then Regina. So Elizabeth, Queen of England, France and Ireland. As you can see, this particular portrait is actually um, of specific to the Thruppences. This is she's actually slightly taller in this one, and has a larger inner uh, flan with the ear showing. Obviously, she's got the Tudor rose as well to so the right hand side of the coin. On the other side. As we said, we got the fairly standard inscription for this kind of for this period. Posui Dei Auditorem Meum, I've made God my helper, and the English coat of arms, which you should be able to see, however, it's been quite badly worn. So it's another very nice coin from my collection. This one's in okay condition for threepences, and I actually got this one for quite a decent price from an auction. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Leave in the comments if you've got any new silver hammer coins of your own. And I will hopefully be getting some more content out. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. But make sure to subscribe to the channel.